the smoke is hard for all the all the farmers anybody else that has uh, breathing problems this spring has brought an active wildfire season across western canada but as spring turns into summer what impact will the fire and smoke have on agriculture across the prairies as of thursday afternoon there were 92 active wildfires in alberta and 24 in saskatchewan spreading thick smoke across much of the prairies todd lewis from the canadian federation of agriculture who also farms in southern saskatchewan says these wildfires are concerning we certainly don't want to see the smoke and that's uh that's uh, we way, way rather have uh, no fires and and uh, want to see uh you know those fires out and hopefully like i say everybody's open for some good timely rains where it's needed here in the prairies lewis says the fire and smoke can damage the fields and crops going forward but it also is impacting important infrastructure like power lines and is also impacting livestock water availability for cattle and and sheep are, is very important and if uh, we don't have the, the water on the range for those animals uh, you know you feel the effects pretty quickly. Pam Derockany, the CEO of the Manitoba Crop Alliance says she doesn't believe the current air quality and smoke will have an impact on farmers in Manitoba. It really is on a you know case by case year by year basis in terms of how how severe uh, the wildfires are how how hazy of conditions it causes, what kind of impact it has, you know, air quality. Manitoba farmer Lauren Hamblin says in some cases, the smoke acts as a cloud cover, which protects the crop from harsh temperatures and direct impact of the UV rays from the sun. But in May, during seeding, it's imperative to have blue skies and sun. Pacific crops want Pacific soil moisture when they're going into the ground, whether it's corn or soybeans. So you want more and more soil and certainly the smoke in the air will defer that sun from getting through to warm up the soil. Neil Johnston says wildfire smoke can bring significant impact on lung health and other systems in the body, especially for those that work outside. It is something that we do caution people to really take seriously and just like any clean air uh, situation to really be careful what you're inhaling and, and try and avoid it if, if you at all can. Lewis says he, like many others, are hoping for some timely rains as soon as possible. Mother Nature is the only thing that can really help this situation right now is we just need some 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 timely rains and lots of it in some parts of Western Canada. In Winnipeg, Alex Carpa City News.